In this video, we'll talk about pencils, lead grades, which lead grade you should use for what kind of line, how to properly tape a paper down to the board for a drafting assignment, and types of triangles. These are mechanical pencils. This is a 0.9, this is a 0.5, and that refers to the size of the diameter at the tip. Drafting pencils also come in 0.3 and 0.7 sizes, and there are larger clutch pencils that are 2 millimeter in diameter. They come preloaded from the factory with some sort of medium grade lead on it, like an HB. Grade refers to the darkness or lightness of line that the lead draws, and they're actually sticks of graphite, but we'll call them leads. A 9H draws a very light line, and you use that for construction lines. A 9B draws a very dark, easily smudged line, and you use that for object lines, that is, lines that describe the object you're drafting. However, both of those are inappropriate for drafting. We will use a 4H for our light lead and an HB for our dark lead. We'll keep the HB that is preloaded in the larger pencil and will replace the lead in the smaller pencil. To do this, first remove the cap and the eraser and remove any leads that are in it. Then click, 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 click until you have enough lead here. Hold the top down and remove the lead that's inside it. Now, you may not have completely removed the lead. Keep clicking to make sure a small broken piece doesn't emerge, like what's happening right here. And then depress the top and remove that. Click again, and when no more lead comes through, you've emptied it. Take your 4H lead packet and make sure that the size of the lead matches the size of the pencil, not just the lead grade you want. So this is a 0.5 pencil, we want 0.5 leads. Drop them in, replace the eraser, replace the cap, and then click, 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 click until it emerges from the top. And you can see the difference in the lead grades. That's dark, that's light. You use the dark leads for things like walls. For example, these are object lines. I want them to appear on a copy. You use the light lines for construction lines. For example, if I'm projecting down from a floor plan to create an elevation, the elevation walls are my object lines, and these are construction lines. So you always want two pencils handy, one with dark lead for your object lines, one with light lead for your construction lines. And to erase, use your stick eraser and an eraser shield. Find a slot that matches what you want to erase, and then the shield will protect everything you don't want to erase. Then use a drafting brush to remove the crumbs because dirt and oil from your hand will get on the paper. 
when you tape a paper down to start working on it, you need to align it with your T-square or your parallel bar, whichever you're using. Take the paper and align it with the bottom of the bar and then tape it down. This is painter's tape, which is like drafting tape. That is, it looks like masking tape, but it has less stick. You don't want to use scotch tape or masking tape as drafting tape because that will rip the corners of your paper when you remove it. And use a scissors to get a nice clean cut because if you rip it, the ends tend to curl up under the T-square or the drafting bar. So you would tape it down at all four corners. When you remove the tape, because you're done for the day, but you're not done with the project, and you come back to your board the next day, make sure that you align a horizontal line that you drew with the bar so that all subsequent horizontal lines will be parallel to the ones you already drew. Now, one more thing, triangles. Now, this is a 45 degree angle triangle, meaning that it makes a 45 degree angle with the horizontal there and there. And of course, this is a 90 degree angle. Triangles come in all sizes. This is a 30-60 triangle. It makes a 30 degree angle with the horizontal here and a 60 degree angle with the horizontal here. And both angle types are useful in drafting. So that was just a quick overview of some fundamentals you need to get started.